Hello there! In this demo, you are going to see how OpenText Vendor Invoice Management for SAP helps to automate the processing of an incoming sales order. As part of the demonstration, we would show the scenario where an incoming sales order has some missing information, which is necessary to process this order inside SAP. In the first run, this information would be entered manually by a sales order processing clerk. At the same time, a powerful machine learning engine in the background will remember the changes and the strings related to them. In the second run, a similar document would be processed fully automatically, without any human interaction. Also as part of this video, we would show you the seamless integration with Extended ECM for SAP, our leading content management system, as well as with Document Presentment, the solution that helps to streamline personalized customer communications. Without any further delay, let us begin. The process starts when Mira Smith, the procurement specialists of Computer World, sends an email with the attached sales order to the Innovate Corporation. Brian Riley, the sales order clerk from Innovate, logs in into the SAP Fiori client to check if there are any incoming documents which are marked for processing. And indeed, in his personal inbox, he sees several documents which require his immediate attention. One of them is the document previously sent by Mira Smith from Computer World. Brian clicks on the link to see more details on the transaction. On the right-hand side, he sees the original order from Computer World. He enlarges it to see the positions uh, that the customer has ordered. Afterwards, he scrolls down to see what went wrong and why the order was not actually processed automatically. In the left corner, there is an exclamation sign, which signals that there are three places where Brian's attention is required. He clicks on the sign and in the pop-up window sees that some mandatory information is actually missing. He recognizes that the input terms and the material mentioned on the order cannot be traced back into SAP system. First, he goes to the Inca terms and types in the correct value. Then he switches to the material number and also puts the correct value there, which matches the information located in the SAP system. The machine learning engine, which is running in the background, remembers not only the values which Brian has entered, but also the correlation of them between each other. Afterwards, Brian presses on the submit button, enters the comments explaining the changes, and presses submit to send the documents for processing. Now he wants to make sure that the transaction was processed correctly. From this screen, he goes to the created sales orders and locates the order he worked with. When, moved to, when moving to the history, we see all the actions Brian took, including the missing details he has entered. Now we go to the SAP transaction to cross-check that all information is entered into SAP correctly and we do see all the items uh, on the delivery which is already scheduled. In the meantime, several hours have passed and Computer World decides to send another sales order with similar conditions. However, this time, based on the learning, the system processes it automatically in the background. Let's take a closer look at the results. Here in the history, you can see that the received sales order was processed and booked in the background without any manual actions. Now let's turn to extended ECM for SAP. Here we have a fully customizable dashboard, which shows all the recent updates Ben Riley and his team have made, as well as customers and the latest sales orders, which were just processed. Ben Riley finds the sales order, which was just processed and enters the corresponding transaction. Here on the screen, he has all the data about the sales team, metadata and the orders related to this one. Also on the top, he has an audit log. On the upper part, there are tabs and the direct integration with workspaces where all the related documents are stored. 
The first folder contains the information on the sales orders, which was just processed. Let's take a closer look. Here we see the exact order which was just processed. It is very handy if Ben has a need to quickly check what was exactly ordered by the client. Of course, that's not the only document which is stored in the folder hierarchy. Here he also has the order confirmation, which was automatically generated by open text document presentment and was sent directly to the customer after the sales order was booked in the system. This document can be personalized and targeted to the exact audience and can help to upsell additional products, increase customer satisfaction and even decrease attrition rates. But let's turn back to Extended ECM. Besides the powerful document management capabilities, Extended ECM offers a fully customizable user interface, which can be adjusted to your preferred working style and daily needs. All of the tools that I showed in the demonstration today allow companies to fully automate the entire process, from document ingestion to compliant management and personalized customer communications, and not only parts of this process. With that, I would like to conclude our today's presentation. In case of further questions, please get in touch with us.